What is up? It's me, your boy, Triple A Battery. Back, another banger as usual. But before, as always, we get into it, go ahead and leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, do that, share this on MySpace. All that you do helps me out tremendously, which makes better and more videos for you. With that all being said, let's talk a why we bringing back big trust to the league. That's right. Lamar Jackson did his best Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers impression. Put the team on his back and said, we win in this game. Kid you not. That's exactly what he did. Because if you watch last night's game. You know that for the first three quarters of the game. It was the Colts and Carson Wentz's game. That was it. We finally got to see a healthy Carson Wentz. And a healthy Colts team and they absolutely dominated you cannot lie the Colts played better than the Ravens for the first three quarters then all of a sudden quarter number four Lamar's like I I'm gonna play now and actually try and give a damn and boy, oh boy, did Lamar step up and show out in that fourth quarter. Can we talk about it? Can we talk about it, baby? Because you look at this to score. 16 points in the fourth quarter to bring your team back from like a 22 9 deficit going in to the end of the game is Aaron Rodgers esque. That's what Tom Brady does. That's what Drew Brees does. And that's what Russell Wilson did. I can't do it now, but it's what Russell Wilson did. I think yesterday Lamar proved to a lot of people that he could carry the team and throw the football. Because that was the biggest knock that everyone was saying. Lamar's not a thrower, he's a running back. He's to switch to wide receiver. He's not an NFL QB. Blase, 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 blase. What I'm telling you is, for all you 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds, who are still saying Lamar's not a quarterback, for you grown men out there who still don't believe Lamar's an NFL quarterback, I want you to watch this throw he threw in the third quarter. Just watch. From the 43 of Indianapolis, Lamar loads up for Marquise Brown. Makes it look easy for 43. Grease, they go right over Bo Peep. Let me tell you, for all of you that don't think he an NFL quarterback, that's an NFL throw right there. That's the throw that wins games. Granted, that only made it 22-9. And he still had a claw. But that's an NFL level throw from a guy who was thought to by many to not be a quarterback. If he ain't a quarterback, he ain't making that throw. I'm just saying. Also. Can we talk 
about how after the first four games of this season and his 2019 MVP season, he's actually doing slightly better this year than he was in his MVP season. For comparison, in his MVP season in 2019, after four games, he had 1,110 yards passing, 238 rushing yards, 11 total TDs, a 64.9% completion percentage, and the Ravens were 2-2. Two and two. Now you look at this year, after four games. 1,077 passing yards, 279 rushing yards, so that's 41 more yards, 6 total TDs, a completion percentage of 60.5, and the Ravens are 31. Granted, the completion percentage is down, that's mainly because... His receivers just be dropping easy passes. That I don't blame Lamar for lowering his own completion percentage. His receivers, for some reason, got butterfingers every other Sunday and don't catch for him. But based on what I just read and the picture you see right here on screen, he is poised and has set himself up for another MVP season. This is an MVP caliber season by Lamar Big Trust Jackson. Now let me tell you something else. Let me learn you something. 37 for 43 last night. 504 total Yards with four passing touchdowns. Did they get the rushing record? Absolutely not. But did they get the win? Yes. And quite frankly, as cool as it would have been to see him and the Ravens break the record. 100 straight rushing yards per game. I think they take the win. I think they took the win over the record. Also, with yesterday's win... Ah, the AFC now is looking crazy. It's starting to look crazy because let me tell you, you still got big old Josh Allen from yesterday's video. He doing his thing. And we can't forget Herbert. Oh, now Justin Herbert. He out there, LA doing his thing. And I still do believe Kansas City will get out of this weird funk that they're in. And will take their division. Or at least come second and get a wild card. So that's four. This is the same four I named yesterday. QB wise. The AFC. Through the roof. Lamar Jackson. Is ecstatic. He is box office, baby. That's Will Smith Independence Day hit. I'm talking men in black type money. I'm talking every Transformer movie money. All the Fast and Furious. Even though they should have stopped that Fast Five. I'm talking that type of money. He box office. We gonna pay Lamar. Because what I saw yesterday was a kid prove everyone wrong. Now, that just leads one thing. Can they go deeper into the playoffs? That's the big question. Can Lamar lead this current Ravens team? Albeit, they all stay healthy and those who are injured and can come back, come back in time 
for the playoffs. Can he beat a Josh Allen? A Justin Herbert. We've already seen him beat Lamar. I mean, Patrick Mahomes. He's worth the money. Now, is he worth big time, I'll guarantee a Super Bowl type of money? That's what we've yet to see. At least playoff-wise. Because we know, regular season, Lamar's the one of the greatest quarterbacks in the regular season. He's won one playoff game. But can Lamar sustain and sustain this level of play and ultimately win a Lombardi trophy? That's where I'm, I'm going to end this video. It's been your boy, Triple A Battery. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out.